it's windy today and my big 240 watt solar panel which was leaning up against there blew down and one of the cables got caught up there I don't quite know how because it won't actually reach now and you can see from here there's a section there which has clearly been pulled out from this grommet so that's bad but let's have a look inside and see if this can be fixed. Now I've got this quite nice cover on this and it just lifts off rather nicely. And inside, ooh, we have that. That's interesting, we've got all the bypass diodes here. Uh, the foil strips that come off the solar cells come into here and this is all press fit and in fact I can see that there's a spring connector there so actually all that's happened and you can see on that one there is this wire has just pulled out of a sprung connector nothing soldered nothing hardwired so that should fix actually pretty easily this is all white and black so it's very high contrast I need to undo that and I can't undo it so that all looks intact there looks like there's one strand pushed back but actually that could have been pushed out back when this was first inserted and assembled so I think this is going to go back together no problem now I suppose I should be mindful that um, even with this panel face down there's probably, um, I don't know, 30 or so volts across here. That's not dangerous, but um, yeah, these things do generate a voltage just through the back of the panel. Well, I've got it back in the clip. I'm not sure I've got all the strands through. I may have pushed back uh, quite a few more strands than the, uh, the original fitter pushed them back, but uh, it's in there, it's gripped. I'm going to do up this gland nut and see if there's anything coming out of the panel. So that's ready to go. And there is me wondering why that's not charging. And it's probably because the panel's facing down. You will get a voltage across these terminals, but you won't get much current. And now with the panel in full sun, this thing is drawing 112 watts. I think this device has a maximum draw of 120 and that of course only happens when the cells are at a higher voltage, so that looks about right.